Hey ya, it's Whimsy and we're back today with a new episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Last episode we got Karlak on our team and I love her. I think she's amazing. I'm very thirsty for her. <laughs> I just really like her. She's amazing. And we also got Scratch, which is the cutest doggo with us in our camp and we were able to pet him. So those those two things were really my highlight, I think, of the last episode, but yeah, it was super fun. We also had a really tough fight against Nulls, and that's about where we left off. I played a little bit off camera just to do some inventory management and to level up everybody. I'm gonna show you guys what I did with the feats, but it was really tough to to choose so I didn't think of uh, filming that because it's, it, it would be boring for you guys so that's basically all I did and yeah I also went and sold a lot of things like inventory management like I said so I sold a lot of things that I didn't need anymore to uh, the mar merchants in the grove Emerald's Grove and basically that's where we're at now so let's jump into it let's go Alright, so here we are. So basically, I put... I don't know if we're gonna be able to see in our characteristics... Yes, okay. So I got tough for Lilith in the, um, the feet. And then for Shadowheart, I got her Warcaster. Which is, you can use a reaction to cast Shocking Grasp at a target moving out of melee range and you have advantage on saving throws to maintain concentration on a spell, which I think would be very good for her. As you can see, I changed her armor as well and I think that's it. I don't think I put anything else. These gloves I put the last episode, but this is a scale mail. She has disadvantage on stealth checks now, but it's a medium armor with an armor class of 14, so is quite good. Um, apart nice. from that, we also changed the armor of Karlak, even though her previous armor looked really good on her, but I wanted to put something a bit better for her. So scale mail, uh, plus one, with 15 armor class. And I also put her the ring of flinging, which is throwing boost, the wearer gains 1d4 bonus to throw damage. And you know when she is enraged, we can throw stuff and improvise melee weapon throwing whatever you know like we, we can do a lot of um berserker stuff basically and i thought maybe it could go well with her so we'll try that and i took savage attacker which is when making melee weapon attacks you roll your damage dice twice and use the highest result i am 100 percent melee with her basically so i think that's going to be really good for her where am i needed and for our dear Will, what is that locket that I put him? Is there something special on that? Oh yeah, it's Dancing Lights, we already had that. And I got him... Oh, what is it? Wait, what did I... It was... Um... Basically, I made him so he can do barred stuff now. But I don't know what it's called. Why can't I see it? That's strange. I think I'm just lost a little bit, guys. But anyways, I put him a... Uh, so he's able to... He has more charisma. And he's able to play an instrument now. So, yeah. That's what I did with these. As well, it ends not as bad as it could have. And... Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I changed anything else for my own character. I also changed all the radials for everybody to make it a bit better. Um, so yeah, all stuff that I did while editing and off camera, you know. So I think now we could actually long rest because we are basically out of spells. Well, well not too bad. I wonder what the next move is. But we're kind of kind of out of spells, so I think we could uh, go long rest. Um, let me adjust the volume a little bit. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go long rest. Yes. 
And then I think we're gonna go to the west to the goblin camp. Maybe. I don't know. Hell's fire. Whoa. She's coming. What? Oh already. Oh. Why hello? Well, you've been naughty. Mizora. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Just who in my nails are you? Well, well, aren't you a luscious thing? God damn devil, get out of my camp. God damn devil, get out of my camp. Now? But I'm just getting comfy. Oh my lord. Call me Mizora. I'm Will's patron. The fountain. That's what of I was power. saying. I knew it. My pet's been unruly. Because he's a warlock. And his leash needs a yank. Damn. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. <laughs> and at least those can be buried after. <laughs> That's no kind of talk for a lady. Oh, it's so good. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. Oh. You told me, devils only. Mm. She's a tiefling, not a monster. How precious. The little pupsters found his bark. She looks amazing. Clause G, section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. You better not lay a damn finger on Coralac. Don't you worry. That ship has a long bro. sailed the sticks. But a defiant pup must still pay his price. To wit. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Jesus dis strike his flesh. His soul passes no. through each layer of the hells. Gaining their essence. What can we do for him? Shit! Oh my god. Oh. Well, you're good. <laughs> That's better. What the hells have you done? You're a tiefling now. The promise broken. A or a paid. demon? I'm not sure. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will? Don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. Okay, but I want to kill her, though. Wait, what in the actual? Ta-ta. <laughs> what in the... Could I have... Could, could we just have initiated a fight? I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. You must be relieved. Gobsmacked, really. But grateful. Really grateful. I could learn a thing or two from a man like that. Hopefully we won't turn into mind flayers first. Are you actually interested in him? And not me? Copper for your thoughts. You and Mizora seem to know each other. How? 
We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, mm. me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. Do you think she'll keep coming after you? I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. I can see why you were so keen to escape. <sighs> no kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. <laughs> it had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. Fuck. There you are, my friend. Oh. <laughs> are you drunk? I have drunk. Not alcohol, of course. A bear. Uh. He took a little of my blood. <laughs> I took all of his. Ah. <laughs> uh. You seem happy. No need to drink humanoid bloy, then. You're comparing plonk to vintage wine. You can make merry with either. But they're not the same. But Cazador fed me rats and bugs. And when you're used to drinking from a sewer, even plonk is a marked improvement. Jesus. Sounds delicious. <laughs> it was exactly as appetizing as you'd think. Still, that was the past. I'll never have to grovel for him again. Uh, uh, uh-huh. Maybe not, but you'll grovel before the Mount Flayers if you keep using the tapple. I don't intend to grovel before anyone. But it's true. The Mind Flayers gave us power, but left us to our own devices. Whatever they had planned for us, they failed. And now I'm left with this gift. The strength to take my own freedom. I'm not afraid to use it. And you shouldn't be, either. Yes? Mm-hmm. Scratch! Hello! Oh my god! Beat him! You're so cute! Oh, he's the best boy! Who's the best boy? Oh, it's you. Oh my god. So cute. Speak. Okay, you have nothing to say? Alright. All right then, my lord. Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Mm. Warlock packs tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe right. punishment. You won't be above Raphael, but our pack to Mizora with a fraud. Blade of Frontiers has some explaining to do. What did you expect? She's a devil, hardly the paragon of an honesty. You've been turned into a devil and appropriate punishment. I'd say you look. She didn't take your soul when she came. What did you expect? She's a devil, hardly the paragon of honesty. All these years. You'd think it's a lesson I'd have well learned. It's Mizora who grants me the power to conjure armor and of course, cast Eldritch Blasts. Of course, I knew. I told you guys. Was Before it last I was episode? Infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. 
What are the terms? Did she get out? How in the hell is she getting involved with Miss Aura? What are the terms of your pact? I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, mm. unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this, the moment I've pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. Until today. It was worth the sacrifice. Wow. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Wow. Well met. How does it feel to be a devil? It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? Oh. Mm. What the handsome devil? Freak of nature. Ah! I see Blaze of Fontana more in the list. If he has been touched by the hills, I don't know what to make of it. I see the Blade of Frontiers. No more, no less. <laughs> it's because you know the heart lurking under the horns. The people will see a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters, keep them safe, and one mm. day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. I believe that, honestly. You should get out of this pact. A possibility that's kept approve, me approve, away approve, countless eh? nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. Why obey her at all? What could she do to... That's worse than she already has. Can we just attack her the next time she pops up? There must be some loophole in the contract that lets you out. Can't we just attack her the next time she pops up? We can have all for it. But it won't so much as chip one of her nailed claws. Okay, so it was she cryptid. she escaped to the hells, and if we succeeded, my life would be taken in exchange. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. Maybe she wants the worm. We can beat her if we put our worms together. I just figured out what she would do next. We'll see if it's worth it. We need to back to the phone. We can beat her if we put our worms together. We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. Yeah, of course. Well met. I'd like you to wait in a calm for now. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. Remain and here. I'm, I'm gonna take uh, Lazel, I think. So I have two melee... I think that could be cool. I want to level Speak. her up as well. I think she's gonna level up. I'd like you to. It is me. done. Yeah. Very nice. We're gonna do that. Um. But yeah, we were talking about that. We were talking about all his uh, his weirdness, you know. His and that's why he couldn't talk about the eye. I guess I was like, is he a spy for someone? So she sees everything he does, basically, with that that stone eye he has sending stone and then i was reading here about warlocks and everything like it just made sense so that that was cool that it was cool that we could piece things together before it actually happened go ahead i'm listening even though i don't i i don't know the lore that much but i you know i know a, a little bit and then the game does a really good job at you know making you piece stuff together i think let's see about her We're gonna have to choose a feat as well. Fucking hate that helmet. Uh, should I do the same thing? Savage attacker, just like um, Karlak. Maybe mobile would be cool. 
Just being able to go straight where you want with her for a melee attack would be quite cool and then not provoking opportunity attacks. Double your movement speed, cover more distance. Yeah, I can move super far now. Which is cool. I think yeah, I think we're gonna We're gonna we're gonna try that. Could be good. I I, I would have taken Savage Attacker as well, like I think I think it, it would have been good for her, but I kinda want to have different you know different type of uh, forces and weaknesses for each what to do for each um characters almost pleasant traveling with company if you ignore all the less pleasant what does she aspects mean by that? fine what's on your mind i don't think i've ever had a confidant quite like you and if I have, I can't remember them. Okay. I, if you're sure. I'm, I'm, no. If you're oh sure. my god. Leave. Okay. No, we're gonna keep you. <laughs> Big team. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Come on. Oh my goodness. Ah, perfect. A little bit of garlic. Sprinkled on top. Maybe I should what am I to do? see if I should prepare some spells or not. Do I want to... Wait, where? I forgot how to do it. I forgot, wait. Spellbook? Yeah, spellbook. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, we have healing, that's fine. Inflict wounds, bless. Up to three creatures, they gain a plus 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Up to three creatures, that's amazing. Honestly. Create water is amazing. Sanctuary, I, uh, I think that could be good. And hold person with my clouded dagger and silence. I think I'm gonna keep that actually, guys. I think that's a pretty solid. Uh, that's that's a pretty solid Never stack of spells. Yeah, let's leave the camp. Okay. So, what we could do, we have a lot to do here, but these, I feel like I should do later. We could do this. Um, the goblin camp. Smell that? Blood. This whole plane reeks of it. Yeah. It'll wake you up of a fine day, won't it? I do not need awakening. My senses are sharp as steel. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, the other side. I'm so sorry. This way, right? Yeah. So there are things here as well. But I'm kind of unsure. Oh my god, there's so many ways to go. It's hard. Yeah, I don't think we can go the other way. I'm guessing they're not gone as well because they were in front of like a chest. And I think they're gonna take it with them. It's like cargo. Um, so... I was very curious about- oh! Let's see what you're hiding. Oh, 
Okay, so we got a couple of them right there. Wet level. Level 4. Okay, we could definitely take them on. Where does this go? Do we have to though? I feel like we don't have to right now. Like I have no reason to really go there. Let's let's just see here again. Because I haven't gone around really. Are they gone? Yeah. They are. Okay, we're gonna take all that. Thank you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There we go. Is there something up here? Heavy crossbow. Okay. An open heresy. <gasps> Healing potion. How nice. Okay, let me do this. Few recognize Char as goddess of creature or Selun as goddess of destruction, yet both are true. Born in the primordial ebb and flow of time, they forged a bear to reel together and Chante, mother of life, sprung into existence. Light and dark, hung in perfect balance, embraced by Char and enlightened by Selun. Yet their cre creations were cold in distance, and Shante prayed for warmth. The simple request divided the sisters, driving them to conflict. But it was Selun that forced true flame into a territorial sparking the sun. How could Char not be harmed by such betrayal? betrayal? Forced to war against both the light of the sun and the light of the moon, as the goddesses tore each other asunder. They form new gods and new conflicts, all for the sake of little warmth. The lesson is this, to put selfish comforts over the fate of existence is folly. For those who understand, the lady of loss is always listening. Yes, let's take this. I don't need that, okay. Huh. Hell yeah. I'm quite strong. Perception failed. Ah! Oh! Well, that's too late. Okay, poison cloud. Is it gonna disperse or not at all? Yes, it did. Okay. Jesus. It's locked. Is this your first time on the Sword Coast, Blazel? Yes. It is much more... Lively than the Githyanki slates led me to believe. Just wait till you see Baldur's Gate. Nice. I'll never want to leave. There we go. Oh, what were those? Were they gloves? Reasons grasp. Wait a minute. What is that? Ever vigilant. When the wearer chooses to end their rage, they gain 15 temporary hit. What? That's that's perfectly good for Karlak. Soldier. Oh hell yeah. That's that's made for you, darling. Got a long road ahead. That hurt me. Mm. Nothing is good anymore in there. Might be useful. The crate. What? 
I just took the crate like that. That's so useless. I can put it in a camp and make it cute. Uh... Hell yeah. Okay, is it like literally you? No, no, I didn't. As well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. Annoyed. <laughs> Locked? Really? Lockpick. Again. Easy. Nice. Cool. Okay. So I guess we've done everything here. Not enough space. Um... How am I gonna go back? Are you kidding me right now? Here? Wait, how do I go back? I need to fast travel? That's a little stupid. But okay. So we should go this way to here and then under, I think. Oh, that might be worth ah! Very nice. No, nope. speak. I'm annoyed. <laughs> I still don't know what it uses, but it's okay. Whatever. We're uh, gonna discover. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, I'm not exactly going the right way, I guess. down here. Oh, interesting. Let's go this way. A little stroll in the forest near the river. I wish I could look up like this, but we can't. I thought maybe the dragon was there because I could see this shadow moving, but I think it's unrelated. Oh, thank you. Not enough strength. Don't be shy. It's no worries. Bloodstone. Bloodstones everywhere. Okay. We can use this. <laughs> and then jump through here. We going the right way? I guess so. Oh, target too far. Okay. Woo yes, good job. Good job, everybody. Forest. Oh. oh, flowers, leaves, 
grass. I was raised in the city. Can't beat it. I'm more used to feeling cobblestones underfoot ah. than grass and fallen leaves. Is that so? Before I went to Avernus, I'd have agreed with you. Nothing quite like Baldur's Gate, is there? Nothing in my recollection, anyway. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Let me just. Uh, I saw an enemy uh, on on the other side of the map there. Roasted meat. Feast fit for an ogre. You notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. Let a hand carefully wiggle. Strained investigation. Yeah, investigation, please. Oh lord. And guidance. Nice. Critical success! Oh, it's just success. You notice the blade is at an angle to the meat's grain. If you align the dagger with the grain, it should slip out easily. Okay. Align the dagger with the meat's grain and pull. Sure thing. Thanks to your keen eye, the nice. dagger glides smoothly out of the mystery meat. That's a beautiful dagger. Mystery meat. Tough as boar hide. Only the sharpest teeth could pierce it. Huh. Let me uh, let me see that dagger. There it is. Weapon enchantment, eh? That's cool. I could give it to Astarian, I think. That could be a good idea. I didn't want to pick that up. Maybe I can jump here and just go see what's going on inside without, like, literally opening the door. Mangled corpse. Okay. We can't really see inside, I guess. Yeah, minus two HP and prone, all right. Maybe on the rock? No. All right, I thought maybe we could, but um, I kind of feel like just opening and seeing what happens. <laughs> we'll save before, but, but we have saved not too long ago. It's saved on its own, actually, but um, I'm still curious. So what we could do, actually, what we could do is being strategic here. Um, let me think. Where's Shadowheart? Oh, she's at the top. That's perfect. You know what? That's perfect. What's next? It's perfect. Just stay here. And... Good to be alive. You're going to be waiting here. Like a vandal. I'm sorry. Like it's will be done. You're going to open the door, I think. I'm just scared. Well, maybe I should. Like this, <laughs> we're strategically strategically placed. Um, let me think. I should probably take a potion. No, I'll wait. I'll wait a little bit. Let me see. Okay, let's save. Let me do a on myself. And let's go. 
as you approach, a guttural scream and a succession of quick bangs. Ah, why are they with me? I split. Then, a low moan. Someone or something is having a bit of fun. Open the door. Leave it. Whoever's inside doesn't want an audience. And I don't want to fight. But I want to fight. Open the door anyway. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? You were making a lot of noise. I wanted to join the fun. Ruined. Smash. Oh no. Oh, smash. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Don't disturb the hole that we're in the making. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> oh. That's so good. Okay. Let me see. My patience wanes. Out of the shadows. I feel bad. Let me let me quick load. Let me quick load and see. I'm sorry. I thought it. <laughs> That's so funny. Wait. I thought I thought it would be something else. That was so funny though. I'm just gonna knock and see. Cause I'm curious. <laughs> what a couple. Holy. <laughs> no judgment. We have no judgment in this house. Anybody can be with anybody. It's just funny. Let's see. As you approach, a guttural scream and so we needed someone else to be like, no, don't enter. That's why even if we're split, then she's behind us. Someone Hello? Anybody in there? Is having Go away! Leave it. Whoever's inside doesn't want an audience. And I don't want to fight. All right. Let's leave. <laughs> Come on, Shadowheart, you can do it. There we go. Let's let's leave then. I was prepared, but I mean, what is the enemy? Oh, okay. Let's go this way then and see. Sleeping. So are they cheating? Lighted village. Smell that. Fresh forest air. I smell only fear. The fear of cowards lying in wait for an ambush. Can I pickpocket? Oh, you can take a day off once in a while, Lazel. I do not take days off. <laughs> I'd even forego sleep oh, wow. if such a thing were feasible. The one advantage an elf holds over a Gith Yankee. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Aren't exactly house proud as occupiers go. Wouldn't blame the gobs. Place looks like it's been abandoned a good while. But hey, maybe we can scare up a few dusty bottles of wine somewheres. <laughs> oh, there's an old key. I like your way of thinking. 
split any take Pretty sure we can break that, no? Sister, you've got a deal. I think I need to move it. Yeah. No, it's inside. Oh, it's over. Oh my lord, I didn't see this. Hello. Ambushing. Ambushing who? Talk. Oh, we don't have a voice. You sniffing where you ain't out of bee, friend. Might have to take that nose. Continue. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Oh. Authority. What? The guard let me pass? One could let me pass and live to see night fall? I bypass your guards? If I meant you harm, I could have just killed you all. Let's try again, shall we address me properly? Um, plus three, wisdom. This one, minus one. Why am I with shadow heart? I don't know. Let's try with the... Yeah. Alright. That's not too bad. Ooh! <laughs> it was kind of close. Why Why don't we have any... Uh, any A voice lines? Runs across your mind. You feel sated. Don't let me keep your boss, lads. We're gathered by the windmill. Okay, I don't know what just happened. I feel like Still I just fucked the game. Everything. But I guess it's all good. We can definitely go through here. Really? Really? What if I throw something? Let me save. Maybe we can jump down. Ooh. Mm, let's try it still. Looks like a trap there. A trap? This one? Disarm, okay. We got blacksmith. What the hell? Approachable East. I must say, for a place with so many orcs and goblins, Tesk is a remarkably pleasant land. A true melting pot where all are accepted and quite a lot seems to be permitted. Alas, the crew I sailed here with were imprisoned by the harbor master, but I was soon on the road known as the Golden Way, and it lives up to its name. The wealth of a continent marches along this road. Furs from never winter and iron from Nashkel flow in one direction, while silks and jewel jewels flow the other. I have heard so many stories of the world. The Golden Way passes through Rashmen, through the wastes of Ordal Lands and on the continents of Karatur, a land of empires, dragons, and beasts I've never dreamed of. I am so close to Rashman, but what was once my dream now sounds so mundane. Last night I made camp and was joined by a charming fellow. I told him my dream of seeing Rashman and he laughed. He claims that Rashman is nothing compared to Tay, inviting me to visit the court of Zulkirs. It seemed rude to turn down such an illustrious invitation, so I will see what this Tay has to offer. I don't know what I just read. I... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Let me see if there are traps other places. Can I please get down? Oh my god. 
Then there's also a wooden chest. And there's this here. Oh boy. Ah, oh, what? That's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Again. Again. I have seven, it's fine. Okay. Are you kidding me right now? Again! <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, I don't care. I still have guidance and sleight of hand. There we go! Jesus. Oh. Infernal metal. That's what my engine's made of. Oh. Hang on to that. Metal. Mm -hmm. Silver. Marking is made of like with yellow dust under dark. Notes. Gift from redacted. Finkly sulfuric odor. Forging unsuccessful when not melt or warp at standard temperature. Okay. Weapon enchantment. Interesting. Wait, and we picked up this. I should give it to Carlac, actually. I'd love to, thanks. What can I do with that? Oh lord. Can't use it right now. No one stopped me yet. We should disarm that. I God. Oh gee. Okay. Precise arcs and neatly drawn lines for form the blueprints of three weapons, a great sword, a sickle, and a dagger. Each length and angle is marked with exact measurements and forging instructions are printed carefully along the bottom of the page, emphasizing an unusual ingredient, scissor bark. The scissor bark can, be on can only be applied to an ordinary unmodified blade. Weapon blueprints. They're called the Sousa bark. If only I knew where to find some. Wait a minute. We found a blueprint for Master Weapon Works. All we need to forge one is some bark from Sister Tree. But we don't know where that is. My nature failed me. But then we come back here and do it, right? Oh. Wait a minute. Okay, no, it's um 
I need the bark. But we don't actually know where it is, I guess. Interesting! Interesting, interesting. I like that. I like that a lot. Pleasurable deal. Bello is a transcript of an interview with the writer and director of Pleasurable Deal, Mr. Kingsley Harp. Interviewer, what was the inspiration behind this? If I may be so bold, entirely lewd piece of drama. Harp, it's about exploring the taboo, seeing who we as people really are. Yes, Robert makes a deal with a cambion, but who wouldn't? Those are like devils, right? Like demons? Well, I think to think most devil, most people wouldn't. Harp, then you don't know most people. Everyone wants something. Everyone needs something. Communes can see it. In a way, they know us better than we know ourselves. Interviewer, but at the end of the play, Robert dies horribly. What does that say about what we, as you put it, need? Harp, you forget Robert dies because he broke away from Carlisle. He didn't stay true to the deal they made. Interviewer, so you're encouraging people to make a pact with Hell's offspring, to give up, as Robert did, his soul. Harp, we only have one life, why not make it the most of it? Interviewer, so what was your deal? Harp, I beg your pardon? Interviewer, in fact, this was your directorial debut, wasn't it? You couldn't even get published in the tabloids Baldur's Bash before this play came out. Did you honestly trade your soul for an erotic play? Harp, I... Alright, we're done here! That's so funny! That's amazing. Why did I take that? What was the lever for? I don't think I used the lever. Wait a minute. Ah, I just used the old key. Easy. Okay. Huh. So I could have went through there instead. Okay, so we're friends with those now. Yeah, use the old key. Oh, there we go. That's nice. So we can come back here later. We'll read that later. <gasps> A folding screen. I wish I could take it. <laughs> also prayer. Latender to light, saloon to guide, calamboard to judge and passage provide. A drinking horn, let's let's take it. Oh, gee. Good lord. Let's go. Potion of sleep. The ledger is filled with cultivation instruction for range of medicinal plants. One entry is underlined. Deliver is specially requested plant to the seller. Keep away from prying eyes. It says there's a seller here somewhere. I mean, I, I've been... I don't see one. Isn't it a seller what, where i just been? That. Oh, nice. those things oh I'm sorry I did not mean to do that all right okay that's good oh antidote wait a minute Give me that. And this mugwort. Maybe I can make... Uh, I'm sorry. Maybe I can make uh, more potions. Extract all. Yes. Potion of speed.
Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Elixir of bloodlust. Sure thing. Peerless focus could be good for me. Oil of accuracy. Sure thing. Glorious vaulting. Oh, okay, okay. it makes you jump more. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, hello. <laughs> it's all good. Watch what you touch. If it smells like we, it's claimed, right? All right. They're all uh, pretty much friendly. Where the fuck am I? Blighted village. Okay. Find the cellar. Okay. Well, the cellar is like upstairs? I thought it was down. Okay, I guess I will find the cellar. I'm lost a little bit. Isn't that it? Okay, that's the cellar. No, okay, it's not upstairs. It's, it's downstairs too. All right, there we go. Potion of healing, yes, please. Thank you very much. Oh. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> Okay. That might that be worth a look. look. Let's steal everything. Okay, let me a lever. Oh! Ooh, that's so cool! Okay, okay, okay. Let me just uh, steal everything here first. Uh, not the incense, I don't care about that. Elixir of poison resistance, sure thing. Healer's log. Patient Samson, occupation blacksmith, malady gout, common. Samson become accustomed, accustomed to the good life since he acquired that new apprentice. I gave him a tincture of autumn crocus and told him to avoid red meat and ale. Brandly. Common splinter, remove, wound, clean, douse in balsam, ointment, and bandaged. Timic, child. No harness or blockage, blockage in stomach <laughs> with the swallowed bottle cork. The cork should pass without causing harm. I gave the lad a stern warning. Dida, apprentice blacksmith. Minor burns to the face and hands. Comments, another burn for Samson, eager young apprentice. The unusual treatment was applied, but I urge her to slow her pace of work before she inflicts real harm on herself. Potion of healing recipe. A small recipe has helped me through a lot. Without my scales, my height, smarts and tears uh, with the slightest touch. My head smarts in tears with the slightest touch. Well, it has never healed me fully. Every drop suits. I hope it might similarly suit whatever ails you. Someone has filled the rest of the page with repetition of why is it always healing potions? This goddamn primitive village. The occasional someday I'll kill that mongrel of a master. Luckily, the recipe itself is still mostly legible. Recipe for one potion of healing. Extract needed. Salt of rogues, more souls, special of mergrass methods. Tier yeah, I know. I already know that though, no? Suspicious poison. Okay. Belladonna. There we go. And... Uh, uh, wooden chest. Thank you. All right. Oh, and another potion of healing. Nice. That's pretty much it. Search the cellar, find the cellar. Yeah, I mean, we've already done that. Oh, we can open that though. There's 
nothing there. Okay, we're just going here, I guess. Shall we produce flame? Because I can see, but some of them might not. I don't think everyone has dark vision. Okay. What are we doing? Oh lord! It's okay, we have a turn on dead that I want to try. Shit. It's okay. It will be fine. Goodness. Let me... What is that? Oh, produce flame hurl. That's new. Oh no, it's my... Uh, it's, it's with this. Got it. Um, I was thinking. Should I put some grease? Grease? Where's my grease? Here. No. <laughs> it's a little bottle. I got so many things. Holy shit. Maybe I already used it. Oh, grease. Throw it here. And then... Can I hurl my... No, I can't. Just move away. On my way. Jesus, they hit hard. Um, 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 um. Uh, frenzy. Ah! Now you're gonna get wrecked. That's so good, dude. Ah! There we go. All right. Turn on dead. Oh, that's it. Only those. Maybe I should wait for them to approach. Three turns. Oh, that's a cantrip? Oh, okay, then let's use it. Turn, bitch. Hell yeah. Uh, let me heal. That would work. Really? I thought I had mobile. And that, that wouldn't happen. Shit. fire okay that's not super good poison lightning thunder huh. wait what are they resistant to can I oh oh they don't like bludgeoning are you the same 
Huh. Okay, wait, let me see. What? I missed both. That's insane. Can't believe. It. Oh well. Go help. Not enough movement, of course. Jesus. Uh... Got to move. I cannot deal. This is not going the way I want it. Thank God. My God, that was so good. Holy shit. Could we find it, baby? <laughs> Woo! Kinda worked, but was not the best. Let's short rest. Rested enough. Now. Forward. Hmm. Kinda used a lot of stuff for nothing, you know. Oops. Dark journal. I pay no service to the gods, but by some blessing, this village believes me and my apprentice to be simple healers. My tattoos are hidden, my red robes locked away, and my lab secured. I have not heard the word Thay since we arrived and only my apprentice knows me as Ilin thought. This place is not ideal for my research, but I can never return home, not the way I escaped. I'd be put to death with words to follow. The work here is simple and allows me to continue my research at night, but progress is slow. Reanimation seems easy, but restoring life, that prize eludes me. The tome contains the magic I need, but it fights me at every, t at every step. As does my apprentice. At least my familiar has made it easy to secure bodies without raising suspicion. This will take time. Will the Zalkirs find, will the Zalkirs find me before I can bring her back? I cannot say, but if they do come for me, they'll have to face the guardians I've raised. Uh huh. Mm. <gasps> What's that? How nice. How nice. We've been playing for an hour and 20 minutes already. Hell shit. Can we... Please don't fall, guys. Another step forward. Yeah. <laughs> Lizelle. We're fine. Okay, so I'm encumbered. I just saw. I was like, why am I so slow? 
makes sense. We're gonna send a lot of things to the camp. I think we could send these and then maybe... Is that better? It is better. Okay. So we go here? Speak your name. An enchanted mirror. Raw magic leashed to a bauble. Almost sad. Repeat the name from the book you read. Tell it your name, Tiefling. I'm a Menmon Trace. Examine your appearance. I try to sense the magic thing within the mirror. Yeah, I want to try this. Let's try. Oh boy. That's so bad. <gasps> oh, we're so lucky. The magic is old and wavering, but you recognize it. The mirror is a thinking lock, hiding some secret. It seems some vain wizard took living magic and twisted it into a forgotten curio. Speak your name. I'll I'll say the name that I read. Ilin Toth. My master was human, pure and oh. true. You, you are mean. not Ilin Toth. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. <laughs> Open up or I'll smash you to pieces. Bad luck be damned. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah! Ah! Will that work? There is a pause as those glass eyes take you in. Then. Oh, easy. Thank you. Nice. Trap. Oh. Just as I expected. Oh, no, 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 don't walk on it. Maybe if we jump, but I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna go around. Yes, take that. Observing. Turn page after page filled with strange alchemical sketches and formula. Some are written plainly, some in runes and scripts you barely recognize. There, these, there are guides to transmuting metals and recipes for weapons of war, but more than anything, the book is concerned with reanimating dead flesh. Disgusting. Basilisk or wait, let me pick that up. Research notes. My lord. Oh. I doubt a bear this size went down without a fight. Yes, take everything. Hmm. Let me try with you. This bear was young, judging by the teeth. Juveniles aren't so impressive as trophies. For sure. At least things have stayed interesting. I'll read that later. I don't think it's necessarily relevant right now. Okay, why is there a skull there? 
The evil eye. Undead the because. resurrection. Of what value is the life? I already have that. Don't I? While well, a number of trinkets and bargains a hag personally acquires means that her powers will be unique compared to that of her sisters. Hags as a whole can still be divided in three subcategories. Night hags, named as such for the ability to hunt a mortal's dream, slowly devouring vital es essence until the victim's soul can be trapped into the hag's soul bag. They are known for their for being petty, selfish braggarts. Sea hags, known for devouring the victim whole, sea hags can terrorize and kill with a single look. They reek of fish and are incapable of making a proper cup of tea. Green hags, they are beautiful, they are powerful, speak not a word against them. Huh. Okay. I'm guessing the person that wrote that was a green hag. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <sighs> Who do they want to bring back though? I'm... I'm lost. Raised dead failed. Gone too long, body decomposed. Reanimation failed. Came back as a girl, had to kill again. Speak with dead failed. Unanswer answers unhelpful. Clone failed. Needs living tissue. Reanimation plus clone failed. Had to kill both girls. Resurrection failed. Why? Magical curse. True resurrection. I have reached the limit of my skills and resources the book offers help. Dare I accept? Can go behind. We can go here. Which has like an invisible wall here, I guess. Ah! Ah! Okay, we're back there. I see, I see, I see. I understand. Can I take this? No? What the hell is that? Don't we have a nature uh, check? Skill check? Would like to know. Okay. Uh... Let me try something. Bet I can crack that open. Ooh. Ah, nice. Easy. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, let me just jump again and go with someone else. Uh, maybe you? There is work to do. Try perception with her. Mm. Looks like a trap there. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's try it with someone else. What a charmer. <laughs> no. I don't know if I have to jump over, but I'm not I'm not taking any chances, you know. Okay, so we only have... I'm guessing those are also... Traps. Spider seal cocoon. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. No time to rest. Uh let's try to disarm it. Come 
Okay, that's not too bad. Oh! The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Ew. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. Uh-huh. Can we put Shadow Heart's uh, artifact in there? You try to <laughs> examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Beneath the allure, you feel the faintest echo of torment. There is great power in this book. But Perfect also for Shadow Heart. Suffering. She's all about necromancy. A cursed book. How obvious. Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. Uh-huh. Tuck the book. Interesting. Okay, then. and I'll stay back there <laughs> like <laughs> yeah yeah y'all y'all little shits I think we've seen pretty much everything here that's so strange though the rusted key oh Don't know what the key is for, but uh nice. I am encumbered again. Of course. What the hell? I have the artifact with me. I'm surprised. Why do I why do I have that? <laughs> Wait a minute, why do I have that? Okay. We got a necromancy book. I I don't really know what we shall do with that, but um But I mean all right. <laughs> I, I, we are nowhere close to the goblin camp, by the way. That was the mission for today. Let's not forget. We, oh my good lord. Hello? Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Those are orcs. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen. Contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. <laughs> and what surprise is this? Lump the enlightened. Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another tiefling prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Dude. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute. Oh, that almost, uh, that, that rhymed, kind of. I'm surprised. <laughs> it kind of rhymed. You're quite eloquent for an ogre! Oh, those are ogres? I thought they were like orcs or something. I bear no such brand deception. I'll do you one better. I'm one of the absolute's chosen disciples. Are you eating a tiefling? You're quite eloquent. For an ogre. Am I not astonishing? Yeah, you are, you are. A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Unless you bear the mark, of course. I'll use deception. I'll do you one better. I'm one of the absolute chosen disciples. 
Disciples? Disciples? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Disciples, I think. Friends. And Guidance. Oh. We have a delay. Pretty sure. I can, I can feel it. I'm sorry about that. I play too long this game, that's why. Indeed. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food? Not food. Friend. Friend. <laughs> I notice you don't bear a brand of your own. I notice you don't bear a brand of your own. I've no use for the absolute. Maybe I can eat you. God. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. <laughs> Freya goblins should be fighting for me. I've seen few other ogres in these parts. Forget goblins, you should be fighting for me. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Mm -hmm. Make me an offer. Tempt me. Deception a thousand after you fight. I'll pay you in the flesh of the fallen, you have your fill. Honestly, I'm I'm up for some deception. They're they're a bit dumb. Lilith would do that. She would. Chaotic neutral guys. <laughs> a thousand gold. After you fight for me. They're too dumb to realize. I don't have a thousand gold. I don't think I do. I twice played serenade to my ears, my tasty kibble. <laughs> we have a bargain. Hell yeah. Take my bow. Oh, they approve? One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises, and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. Okay, so don't do that with allies, like too many allies around you. I've seen few other Ogres in these parts. We follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. We will keep close. When you are ready, sound the horn. Okay. That might be worth a look. Oh, that was a tiefling they were eating. So clearly all this end bill has managed to maintain its bold print over time. For one season only, see the play that sent Elteres of Light Theater into chaos. The sharp tongue traveling through presents the folly and the fall. Gotta read that later, I'm sorry. Shadowheart's attention oh. is fixed upon the contents of an old journal. the hell what was that about we we should keep moving excuse me another episode why does this keep happening to you you already know as much as I do best ignore it as long as it doesn't hamper us too much 
And it was on this book. In the underground city of Mental Derrid Leave lived a deep gnome called Sadie and her father Sam. Each morning, the hard-working Sadie traveled to the nearby grotto pick in hand to mine gems. Each night, the lazy Sam would count them and demand even more. You cannot rest until I am the richest man in all of Ferron. One day, Sadie encountered a stranger on her path home, a haggard creature, gray of skin and smallest structure. Adero, exclaimed Sadie. Please, said Adero, I have no money and no home. I beg of you a single ruby, so I might sell it for food. Sadie found pity in her heart and gave the beggar a ruby. She told her father about the Dero upon returning home. Do not believe his lies, warned Sam. They were selfish, demented creatures, given no more, lest I cast you away. The Dero was waiting for Sadie the next day. Please give me ten rubies so I might sell them for shelter. Sadie, moved by his plea, did as he asked and journeyed home. When Sam rebuked her, an inferior hall, he said, this will not stand. On the third day, the Dero appeared in a grotto. A hundred rubies, please, so I might feed my brothers and sisters. The kind-hearted Sadie, Sadie handed the beggar her entire sack of gems. As he took it, there was a great flash of light. Where the beggar was there was a massive gold dragon. You prove yourself generous of heart and spirit. Come to my lair and share in my golden hoard. Sadie eagerly accepted joining the dragon in his opulent hideaway. One year later, Sadie passed a beggar near the grotto, her own fa father, Sam. Sadie, I have no money and no home, he said. I beg of you a single ruby so I might sell it for food. Sadie found no pity in her heart and walked away. So this is like a children's story or something? I know in the introduction, if I remember correctly, uh, Shadow Heart said that she does not remember. Like, her memories were taken from her. And yeah, she doesn't remember, um, like, why she has the artifact for one, and then. Uh, she like she doesn't remember much of her past basically so i wonder if that is like a children's story that she used to read when she was young and it like juggles her memories and then that's why she has like that pain or something because the person that like char i don't know if char actually exists or not it's like a goddess but whatever um uh tasked her with the artifact and bring it to Baldur's gate and then took all her memories and then when she has something that make her remember her past or something then she has pain is what i'm thinking so far but i mean i don't know and i'm just basing all that with the introduction basically that we had and what just happened and what what shadowheart has been telling us but it's not very clear lyra lady of deception the goddess who wears many masks invoke her name avoid perception she hides your lies in secret tasks for joy to Lyra, you must call and worship her through soul felt dance. So find her presence in fetch shawls. Do not give idleness a chance. Leviathar's pleasure is your pain, your scars an offering. Scourge or candle, whip or cane, can your devotion bring? That was beautiful, actually. That's a bit long. I'll, I'll read it another time. Strange happenings. Let me see. Names and heights have been carved into the wood over the years. The last two. Yeah, that was like a family's Maggie house. Terrans and Marcus Terrans. Twins, perhaps. Damn. Yeah, those are like children's stories. Okay, so this has something. Was that a mistake? What I just did? <gasps> Got 
Because I, I couldn't examine it. So I, I don't know what I was supposed to do. I'm... I don't know. I don't... I... That's strange. That's very strange. Like, I don't... I don't know, maybe I could go in there now or something, but uh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. And now we have ogres that we can call if we need. <laughs> Haven't seen that game in <gasps> years. We call it Marel in uh, in French. I don't know what it is in in English. I love that game. Almost pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant People of the Sword Coast, look around you. What do you see? A collection of God-fearing humans, elves, and dwarves, or an infernal corruption of the divine image? Tieflings wearing their devilish heritage for all to see. Walk among us as if they didn't owe their existence and allegiance to the lords below. Fuck you two. These hells touch people have infiltrated our cities, our organization, even our families. They can claim to be good all they wish. Would you believe the tiger who looks at you with dripping fangs? If he said he ate nothing but vegetables. No, we can see your true nature plain as day. You racist son of a bitch! <laughs> but they are not the only evil infiltrating our world. All around, I see Drow, Dwegar, and other creatures of the Underdark strive for acceptance. But why should you accept them when their brothers raid our countryside and steal our children? Obviously, I'm not saying they should be cast out. Obviously, I'm not saying we should return those delinquents to the Underdark and drive the tieflings back to the hells they came from. But... Be wary of these people, my friends. Be suspicious when you see them, and especially be suspicious when you do not. What a piece of shit. Apart from an overgrowth of moss, the well looks unremarkable. Pier. I'm sorry. Dry stone. I pressed one too many wall. times. At the bottom, something gleams in the dappled light. For a coin. The coin disappears into the darkness, landing with a soft clink. Okay, climb down. Better be careful. Those webs carry vibrations. Wait, those what? Carefully now. Can I get my coin back? Okay. Something didn't like that. like a battlefield <gasps> oh goodness let's come here and try to gain an advantage on them okay I see three oh goodness oh goodness fuck all right then Level three. I mean, that's not too bad. We can do something with that. Frenzy. Not enough movement. Range attack then. Over there. Victory awaits. Um advantage okay wait what what am i uh, i'm poisoned or something what is it poisoned simple toxin okay let me just 
Do I have anything for that? No, I don't. Okay. I will not know fate. Shit. Damn, dude. Okay, 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 okay. High ground. I'm thinking... Hold person. Must be humanoid. Shit, I forgot about that. Um... I'm thinking maybe Wait, let me see. There's another one there. And there's another one here. Okay. You know what? Uh, a two. Like that. It's a bit bigger. And, um... Not enough movement. God damn it. Okay, wait, what is it? You are not like to be targeted until you attack or harm a creature. I can use healing. On you. You are not allowed to die. Take you, you. And then I wonder if this is worth the cost. Let me do twin witch ball on you. Pat is interrupted. Should I move a little bit then? No, okay, it works. And you. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me move a little bit then. That's so good, dude. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm in a different shape now. Oh, oh no. <laughs> For two turns. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Shadow Heart. Let's finish this. Ah, that's so funny. My wild surgeon. Oh, Jesus. All right, that broke it. Shit, dude. That sucks. Okay. Um Goodness. They are on an advantage right now. Fuck. Throw. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm fury. I am death. I am fury. I love that. I would have needed Misty Step. Ideally. Make way. Uh. 
Oh, I'm not frenzied anymore. I didn't see there was another one. Wow. Uh, I have a greater thingy, potion thing. I know I do. Somewhere. Yeah, that. Thank you. Poison spray. Electrocuted and wet. This one too, no? Yeah. I'm at a disadvantage, really. I'm threatened and poisoned. Well, shit. Oh, that's pretty good. It's gonna die if I do that for sure, right? Maybe I shouldn't. I should just use a... Really? Wow. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Bite. This one. Target is too far. Let's do this. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Okay. Bitch ass. Enough is enough, dude. Rush, maybe? I don't have rush attack. No, I don't. Oh, cleave is cool. I like it. Fuck me too, then. Could I jump on the other? Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. What? I can't do that? That's a crazy jump. Okay. I do have rush attack with her. Wait, I don't? Uh, let's take a short rest. Fuck. Disadvantage, really? Because I'm poisoned. It's fine, let's try. Action surge. Again. Wow. Well, fuck. Woo! Okay. Let me think. Where is it gonna put me if I do that? I need to disengage first though. That's the shit. Hmm. Okay, are you still wet? Yes. 
And what about you? You're infested. Let's try it. Oh my god, dude. I cannot deal. <laughs> I cannot deal. Okay. We gotta kill this one. Like, we, we gotta. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, fuck. Let's do it again. There we go. That's nice. Sanctuary to us. And also me, right? No? Just one person? You or an ally. Oh shit. Well, fuck. Okay. You little fuck. <laughs> Can't reach really? Why? Jump here. Oof. Down the hatch. Fuck. Swift and lethal. Uh Yeah. This is your end. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god, dude. Let's help you. Cuz I'm uh, I have sanctuary anyways, right? Best be on my way. Victory awaits. <laughs> All right, that's good. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's nice. And evasive footwork. There we go. What should I do? What should we do, girl? This did really well. Not this time. It's okay. Nice, at a disadvantage, disadvantage now. Oh my god! So annoying! That's so annoying! My dude. Temporary hit points to you. Please. Where do I go from here? You I'm thinking, guys, I'm thinking. Because I'm protected right now, but... Um... <sighs> I'm still poisoned, eh? I think if I could... Put a minor illusion here ha ah, stupid they're so dumb Can't give up. Not now. now we have an, an advantage on this one because it's literally 
it's sluggardly threatened by the minor illusion of a cat. That's so funny. 2-7, it's not gonna kill. I thought maybe... Jesus. Main hand. That wouldn't be really good because I want Lazel to kill. Uh, still have opportunity, really. Alright then. Oh my god. So annoying. Literally making my melee uh, party members useless. That's what's going on. It's insane. Soldier. Okay, you are dying. Thank you. Taking position. <laughs> Another fight. Let's go. That's a nice surface, yeah? Okay, cool. Oh, fuck, I broke the bridge. Really? Holy shit. That's bad. Broke the bridge, dude. Unbelievable. I swear. Say bye bye. Breathing, despite everything. This is not going well at all. Ignition. That worked actually, what the hell? Open up. Help. I don't have enough resources, yeah. Um if I go here... That's not bad. Nothing will stand in my way. Help. <sighs> it's in the water right now. Nice. Swift and lethal. 
<laughs> I don't think so. I'm ready. Hmm. Are you kidding? can deal. Critical miss, bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so fucking annoying. Like you fucking less. You know what I mean? Taking position. use no 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 i'm sorry i didn't mean <laughs> time to push my luck again <sighs> need to find a way forward <laughs> Yeah, bitch. That's what I'm talking about. Talk to me. <gasps> Maybe. Not enough movement. <gasps> So useless with her. Holy shit. Ah! Oh my god. That was really hard. That was um That was really difficult. Because of that fucking if I had Misty Step with Will, it would have been fine. Or more mages. But today I wanted to go with my melee. It was not a good idea to have both melee uh, together. I think. Jesus. Time to get Actually, going. we should long rest. <laughs> we should just long rest. Like, at this point, I've used all my spells and shit. Like... Oh my god. So it changes every time. That's so cool. It changes depending on where you are for your camp. And I really like that. No, I... I meant to extinguish it. Yeah, dismiss. Like, how cute is this? I mean, with the spider webs and everything, it's not the best, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's kind of nice. Let me put a couple of things just so that we don't care right now. You know. Like the books and shit. Because I'm always encumbered. All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. Oh, Starion wants to speak. Hello, my boy. Looking at something. Just looking. What are you doing? I'm looking too, but not seeing very much. Another quirk of my affliction. Oh, cause he's a spawn, a vampire spawn. He can't see his reflection. Oh. Do you miss it, seeing your own face? Preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I miss it. Aww. I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew 
fangs and my eyes turned red. You look pretty good. I can say that. I mean, it's true. What color were they before? You have nothing to worry about. It's a very good face. It's for the best. You're not exactly aging gracefully. That's not okay. What color were they before? I... I don't know. I can't remember. Jesus. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. Pray maybe well I like what I see. It's for the best you know exactly aging grease for the staring to his life like taking in every details of his face. I mean sure. What? He looks so vulnerable in this moment. I see you, I'll be your mirror. What do you want to know? That's so sweet. Count yourself like you have to see this mug every day. It's it's been twice in the same day that they asked me, like, well, he, I guess he hasn't asked, but like, what do you see, you know? I'll be your mirror. What do you want to know? I want to know what the world sees when it looks at me. What you see. Why does he look so vulnerable? A strong person eyes agrees when you laugh, you're molding he grabs my attention. Someone wasting my time. Strong person eyes. Oh. Go on. That dangerous smile. Very good. Mm. Now just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. Carlac is beautiful. You're fine, though. You don't have Lazel's charm, but you're all right. You're fine now. Shadow heart dares a beauty. Is that all you want, Shallow Prince? <laughs> I kind of want to say that. Oh my goodness. Is that all you want? Shallow praise? Hardly. Oh. There's also goal, sex, revenge. Quite the list, really. But failing any of those, I will always settle for shallow praise. <laughs> I should have said the, the Karlak one. That was too funny. Need something? Ah, oh, that's too good. Spare me a moment, if you please. Sure thing. I've something important to discuss with you. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about I time I never use I you in my party. I'm sorry. With you. <laughs> it's a rather personal matter. That oh, I what is to it? Keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. Please you do see, go on. I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but. Just as deadly. Okay, what kind of condition is it contagious? Can it be cured? So you've been lying to me this whole time while they're full. Can it be cured? No. It cannot be cured. And I assure you I've Shit. left no page unturned in reaching that conclusion. I can keep this condition under control, as indeed I've done for a significant amount of time, but that was under different circumstances altogether. Home. In water deep. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my sorry, hands my on a powerful itchy. magical item and absorb the weave inside. Oh, okay. You really exclusive you to consume raw magic. I'm going to need details. What kind of items are we talking about exactly? Would that ruin the item? What happens if you don't consume these artifacts? Are you telling me you're addicted to magic? I, I want to ask all of those. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic? I'm going to need the details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact. Since before we were abducted. It is time. And by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. Uh... Okay. Where do you suggest we find these 
the artifacts you need. I feel to see why you need me to help with this. You've done fine without me so far. I'd be happy to help. Sounds like no condition I've ever heard of it. So you're just fishing for loot. Where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your not, possession. Not Shadow Hearts. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved. Or great cost. What it, why exactly would I risk out of those things for a wizard I barely know? At the end of all that, I lose a valuable artifacts and no tanks. Honestly, it sounds terrible. I see no upside to this for me. Honestly, that sounds terrible. I see no upside to this for me. Then I suggest you look closer. Having a wizard like me around is quite the boon when facing the perils that stalk these lands. I don't really need him, to Far be honest. harder for me to assist you if I can barely stand upright. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. Very well, I'll do my best to get what you need. No, if you're unwilling to tell me the truth, I'm not helping you. Wisdom, use your tap pole. See the danger at the heart of Gil's request. Yeah, let's try that. Why not? Ooh, not 20 critical success, bitch. You become one in Gale's mind. And you can feel something sinister oppressing you. It's inside of you. A mighty darkness radiating from your chest. You could try to push further, but your hold over Gale feels brittle. It won't be easy delving deeper without him noticing. Oh, he didn't notice this one? Decide not to risk so, it. So, do you agree? <sighs> Very well, I'll help you manage this condition of yours. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. What is it? Uh, give Gale a magic artifact. What will happen to this item? Should I give it to you? The item you want or more use to me on consume? We can't have anything yet. What will happen to this item should I give it to you? I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life. Even if only temporarily. Can we just cure that? Like... What magic artifact do I have though? Like, genuinely, I, I'm not sure. Oh, I see. Gail can absorb this item's magic, destroying it. Pretty good. That's really good. Well, fuck. Perhaps I'm not conveying the urgency of the situation. It's incredibly, world shatteringly important you give me a suitable artifact. Please. I can't spare anything at the moment, but you get what you need. Just give me time. Friends. Oh my god. Jesus. Of course. I would hate for you to think me impatient or ungrateful. I shall persevere. Let me just switch things around. Okay, he is not good right now. Okay, I see. Let me just switch things around before... How are they standing so close? 
Okay. I'm not jealous, I swear. Let me just check. I don't even have any... Oh. Plus two. Okay. Uh, that's pretty good. But I thought maybe I had... Maybe that's good. I just want to make sure that I'm not like giving anything nothing. away that I could be using. Let me... Tell... Blazel... Speak. To stay here. Check. As you... This is so annoying by the way guys, like... I love this game. Do not get me wrong. But why make it so complicated well, to change party members? I. That's. Just to see their stuff. Defender of the people. Just to see their things. Like, come on. He is not proficient in it. He's not even proficient. So, honestly, I think. Yeah. Is that blood? No, never mind. Yeah, well, it is. It's blood everywhere. Are you sure? And <laughs> I'm gonna bring a star in uh, next time. Hello. I was missing Walking a range. Up. Darling. <laughs> Le a lead on. Ooh, I haven't leveled him up. Keep I didn't think of that. Exciting. I need to stop playing. I need to stop playing. I need to stop playing. What feat for him, though? Athlete. Uh... That's cool. Charger. Crossbow expert. I kind of like Sentinel for him. When an enemy within melee range attacks an ally, you can use a reaction to make a weapon attack against that enemy. Target ally must not have the Sentinel feat. You gain advantage on opportunity attacks, and when you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, it can no longer move for the rest of its turn. That's pretty cool, because I use I use a mix of range and melee with him. The other thing that I would have put for him was maybe Lucky, uh, with the three lock points, or Mobile as well i'm not sure there's also uh was it skilled oh maybe tough or something but yeah no i think i think i kind of want to try a uh, sentinel that could be interesting i think vengeance snare and advantage yeah let's try that why not you know try new things Looking ahead. Okay, so. What's on your mind? Apart from finding me an artifact to consume, which I assume you're pursuing with the appropriate urgency. I don't like how he is. Uh... How how. You owe me this kind of attitude. I don't like that. I was wondering, that condition of yours, why does it require magic? Think of it as... tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure okay. you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. Are you threatening me, or like, is that really...? That is most gratifying to hear. May I? I'm sorry, I didn't read the line. Thank you. How often do you need that? Because that's kind of a liability oh. for me right now. That hit the spot. 
I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. Yeah, it was for a, a bard. Demon, <laughs> I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Your gratitude doesn't make up for what I lost. What are you going to do to compensate me? Compose a thousand stands that owe, titled a gale of thanks and adulation. <laughs> Sincerely, that ain't though, gonna cut it. I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, yeah. all will be told. <sighs> it's very expensive. That condition of yours is a very expensive one. I obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. How can I help? I don't really like him, I gotta say. I don't... Gale is positively voracious. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. <laughs> Right. I like Gale, but I'm keeping all my good gear well out of sight. Everything fancy he touches meets a grisly end. Hey, soldier. Yeah. I've known people who are hungry for power, but Gale takes it a bit too literally for my liking. I wonder how he does it. Why he does it. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. Mm. A waste of perfectly good treasure. Agreed. <clears throat> Agreed. What do you think? Gale slurped that thing up like a horse with a carrot. I hope he got what he needed from it. His red eye is so cool. Now that he's a... a devil, I guess. So, Gale just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. I've noticed as well that when I go into the character sheet, you can see how, what the others think of you. Lilith, medium. Neutral. What a day. Neutral. Okay. You know, like... So Alright. Um, 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 I'll do inventory management out of sight. I am just really wondering... So, okay, it's gone. The hat is just gone. Can, uh, oh! Oh, Shadowheart is not gonna be happy about that. Box. Its many sides are engraved with indecipherable glyphs. Examine it more closely, yeah. Let's see. Oh! Alright. No openings you can see, yet you sense something inside it. What a pretty thing. I imagine it's dangerous. Most pretty things are. Force it open. The box doesn't yield. Tough luck. Let me know if you need to borrow a little elbow grease. <laughs> Drop it on the ground. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. It must be love. Hi, <laughs> Carla. Okay. What if we do that as Shadowheart? A 
curious ornate box. Its many sides are engraved. Looks like your toy has other ideas. Oh. I think you're stuck with it. The box doesn't yield. Tough luck. Let me know if you need to borrow a little elbow grease. Yeah, I mean, sure. Uh, da, da, da. Are you singing? Bound. Force it open. Come on, the elbow grease. The box doesn't yield. Perhaps it needs a magic word. Try please or sledgehammer. <laughs> Looks like your toy has other ideas. Huh. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Alright then. Strange. Strange, 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 strange. Very strange. Okay, there's no maximum of... Uh... Alright. Let's use alcohol. There we go. <laughs> We're gonna be drunk tomorrow. He sleeps like this. Oh my god, I can't. Is that a vampire thing? <gasps> Bottoms up! We got a trophy for that! <laughs> That's so good. Let me pet you. We're gonna end it here, guys. Enough. We absolutely did not do what I wanted to do today. And who cares? It was super fun. I had a couple of really tough fights. And I think that's great. I don't have a problem with that. We did not have a total party kill, which is good. We almost have 20 hours of playtime. That's crazy. Already? I feel like I just started. Like, I literally just started. Destroy the book. Or unlock. Is in shape for a key. Some kind of stone. The owner of the town mentioned a key gem. Could this be secret to unlock in the necromancer key gem? I don't think I have that. Maybe we'll get it eventually. Carlac needs an infernal mechanic to tune up. Oh, yeah, that's true. We should go see Damon. Damon, Damon. Continue traveling with Will. Treat Gale's condition. We have so many things. We haven't done Night Song, Missing Shipment, Masterwork Weapon. So many things going on. How many inspiration do we got right now? Oh, she's an outlander like me. I didn't know that. We are made for each other, obviously. Anyways, next time, maybe we'll finally reach the goblins camp. Who knows? There's so many things to do. Please don't fall. Oh my goodness. Uh, but yeah, this has been truly amazing. I feel like choosing tough for me has been a good choice. I don't... Did I die today? I don't think I did. Did I? Like, was I downed? I think... Lazel was down, but not me. So we're definitely learning. I have like more hit points, so it's not as bad, you know. I have more AC as well. So uh, I think it was a good choice to do that because I'm really squishy otherwise. But uh, yeah, this was super fun today. I hope you guys enjoyed as well. And now we have ogres on our side. I think that's the biggest thing that I'm taking of, like the necromancer book that we got and the whole story around that and we passed through like the goblins ambush without nothing happening so maybe we'll go into the goblin camp like as friends i don't know but at least we're not enemies yet and we have ogres that we can use anytime we want just blow the horn and it kills everybody and, and anything and everything basically i hope it doesn't kill us but everybody else so that's what I take from today. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!